Here we have parts of the world's first electronic computer, Leo II. Leo stood for Lyons Electronic Office. Lyons was a tea and cakes company. It had about 200 tea shops. And they very forwardly went to Cambridge where there was a computer called ENIAC. And they asked them if, they could pos if it was possible that a computer electronic calculator would do all their deliveries and invoicing for them for their 200 tea shops. And they form, and they produce Leo 1, a prototype. And it works so well. I think the prototype was produced in 1951. It worked so well, they began to get jobs in from other companies as well, and they lost a lot of their back, their head office staff, the clerical staff who were doing this. So they thought there might be a business in this, and they formed Leo Computers. They then produced, offered the world's first electronic computers for sale. Leo 2.1 went to Lyons, the original user. Leo 2.2 went to Wills, the tobacco company. Leo II three went to Stuart and Lloyd's, the steel company. And Leo three four went to Ford UK. Interesting to note that Ford UK had a computer before their parent company in America. Now, for, for various reasons, the Wills tobacco company computer was programmed and switched on two months after the Stuart and Lloyd's one, Leo II three. So, Leo 2.3 by Stuart, uh, belonged to Stuart and Lloyd's, by definition, has a claim to be the world's first, uh, first commercial computer, the first computer that was sold to an end user and used for commercial work. And these are parts from Leo 2.3 for Stuart and Lloyd's one. Collecting the paperwork is extraordinarily important if you deal in, in, uh, in early technology or things. Paper is massively undervalued by collectors, but it nails things. Here we have the review news of 1957. Leo II makes its bow, electronic computer for Corby, dates it, and there's a picture of it. That is the control panel. It has three tubes in the front, and this is one of them. That was, on the that was one of the Leo II monitor tubes. Part of its memory, and we're in the days of valve computers, is this chunk here. Here is a bit a computer bit. It is, worth, it is not completely exactly the same as a modern computer bit. I don't mean in its construction, I mean in its function. Um, and then finally, we have a piece of paper, Steel News, and it says, after 13 years, Leo is out of commission. During his life, Leo has worked a total of 70,000 hours, produced over 8 million pay slips, never once failing to pay out on time, produced over 3 million invoices, and processed 125 million punch cards. Its other main jobs were, etc., etc. During a special ceremony, Leo printed its last pay slips and a farewell message. We have the farewell message. It's here. Leo, 13 years, 58 to 71, worked 70,000 hours, used 124 million cards, 2,600 miles of paper tape, produced 3 million... 8,800,000 pay slips, 3,640,000 3, invoices. Now it is time to close, 23rd of June 1971.